Oh, happy National Admin's Day. Admin's Day, really? Yeah. Well, happy Happy Admin's Day to our admins. National Raspberry Pick Day, National Cotton Candy Day, and Happy Jump for Jelly Beans Day. Where, oh, where do they come up with these? That is just amazing. So, you know why today's a special day, right, everybody? Today is our Patty's birthdays. I simply cannot believe they are five years old. Five years old. Where did that time go? Crazy. They're wonderful kitties. Yep. Yeah. And I gave them a special hug for many of you, and especially from Deb111. Thanks, Mary. And they got an extra packet of their appetizer, too. <laughs> they like it. You want to go on a roundabout walk about here? No, I'm just stay out. Today is National Feral Cat Day. How did I miss that? I totally missed that. Well, we have, we have two boxes and one package and two letters. So we're going to get started. Um, I had the windows open in the cabana. You can... Tell that it's a little windy because the chimes are ringing. Might be able to hear them right there. And the patties are awesome. Then I gotta tell you what I'm doing tomorrow night. Um, this one came through Amazon, but I don't have a name on it. Oh, I think this is from Jack Cats. Sing it, Dewitty. <laughs> I think this is from Jack Cat. These are plastic dividers, a whole bunches of them. Numbers, numbers, and oh, and blank ones, and project ones. Hey, these are these are nice. Uh oh, I forgot to ask. Do we have Mudgy on? Mudgy, 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 are you ready? Gosh, we got a lot of wonderful mods on. All of the mods are wonderful. I wonder if there's a National Moderator Day. I better wait for a mudgy. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's Zelda. Zelda, you better come over. Aren't you going to go over there? Mudgy's ready, okay. So, Mudgy, we have um, one... Two, three, four, five different uh, of the dividers. Oh, some of these are, this is a write on one. Thank you, Jack Cat. Yep, this is Jack Cat. And then she also sent, and this is cool. Okay, do you know who this kitty is? This is Amani. I love her. She's got such short hair and it's shiny and it's sweet and it's thick. She's awesome. This is one of those bamboo bunks. Remember we had one long time ago. Complete needs, privacy, safe for pets. Cradles your cat in comfort and style. Easy assembly. A 
take it in and see if um, Steve will put this together, which I know he will. Yeah. Thank you, Jack Hat. I appreciate it. Yep, that's a money. She's a panther, I tell her. I, probably every day I tell her that. Does she eat, you know? I don't know what was there before, so no, I don't oh, know. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Ouch. Over there? Huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I took one box away because that one we already opened at another day. <laughs> and this one is from Wolf Patch. Wolf Patch, Wolf Patch. Do you know what is um, incredible? To go this many days without um, trucker poo. Quite amazing. How long has it been? Um, you mean since this icky poo stuff? Yeah. Almost two weeks? Oh my goodness. That's a miracle. Yeah. That is a miracle. I really, I kind of just come to terms with myself that we weren't going to get there. And today he got his vitamin B. Pokey. He's so good. He sees me coming with the with the injections and he just kind of closes his eyes. He's such so good. This is from Wolf Patch. Wolf Patch. Oh, these are those memory foams. There's four of them here. Purple, teal, brown, and a, like a lime green. Wolf Patch, thank you. These are wonderful. These are, the, I love these. Coralie loves these. And we even have some down there at um, the Cat's Cove. Now that it's finally stopped raining, um, we put these out on the sidewalk out there for the porches and the Covies too, and they like it. Yeah. Uh, well, DeWitty, um, he gets the, B vit the vitamin B injections every week for six weeks, and then we go every two weeks for six times and then we're going to go once a month. Yeah. That is a pickup from before. We had we had only done that twice for them. And but what what the combination is is the three meds that he has instead of doing it once a day, we're doing them two of them twice a day now. And the one antibiotic which is the biggie is only once a day. And actually, on Monday, the big antibiotic, the, the pokey one, the one that's an injection, we, we're going to stop. He'll get it Monday, and then he'll stop that one. And then he'll be on um, the oral two twice a day. So it, you know, and I think part of it, too, was he went, what was it, four days, five days without anything to eat but water. <clears throat> and I think that gave his intestinal tract a little time to rest. Oh no, I think it was probably just four days. Tuesday, yeah, four days. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, and then the anti-inflammatory we're still doing twice a day instead of once a day. So I'm going to be nervous when we start giving the one because everything's going good, but it can't stay on all that forever. Mary, storage room. Yeah, and then I'll take those out there for the kitties tomorrow. So, yeah, it's, uh, I know, it's just amazing. I really had, I had come to terms that we weren't going to get there and it didn't matter because him staying anyways, right? <laughs> and also, folks, we had a couple other things here, too. Um, Judy, Judy, J-U-D-I. And her last name is SP. Uh, she she sent two boxes, and they had those 40-pound uh, bags of the blue uh, precious litter. And I think we used those today already. So thank you very much, Judy SP. And then uh, Knitting Kitten, who we know is Donna, Donna H. She sent three bags of the blue um, precious litter. 
and that we put in the doggy's room and we'll be using that very soon too so I thank you the litter is oh, always always welcome told the kitties the other day don't get litter don't get food or if you don't get litter you can't have food if you can't if we can't have food, we can't have litter. They just want to use toilet paper then. They just, yep, use toilet toy paper. Um, uh, the t-shirt sale today. Yep, we have a few blue, those blue um, webcam t-shirts. I have, I'm already out of the 2X. We have a few 3Xs left, and we're selling them for $10 only. And, uh, we're just trying to kind of declutter some of our odds and ends that we have left. So they're those blue um, webcam cameras shirts. They're really nice. For ten dollars, I have I have quite a few of the three X ones left. Okay, and let me finish these, and then I'll give you some updates, and then I'll be happy to answer any questions. Okay, uh, this is from Tom C from Illinois. Tom C. from Illinois. Tom's been a regular donator and friend of the Rescue Center for quite some time. And we have a note. Yeah, this is Tom and Linda. Thanks. Oh, this is a replacement check. Tom, Tom and Linda had sent a check for April and somehow it never went to the bank, got to the bank or got to the bank and they didn't process it. Anyhow, it never went through. So he, he did a replacement check on that. So I thought that was really nice. Tom and Linda. Yes. These are the ones that says FFRC webcam viewers on the back. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And Tom and Linda, very nice of you and I appreciate it. This is Shin, our moderator who is on who helped us name our um, Amaryllis uh, pocket kitty. Oh, look, you know who this is for. Oh, and they got their birthday bucks. It's your birthday. Try to control your excitement, dear Patty Cakes and Patty Fur. Hope you get lots of love and snackers on your birthday. Love you so much, Shin. Shin, thank you. We'll put this up. And what a perfect picture. It just looks just like the boys. They got groomed today, too. Did you know today was their birthday? Oh, That's why I wore my patty shirt. <gasps> oh, Mary wore her patty shirt for the patties. That's very nice. <laughs> we love those boys. The only reason I knew was because I was watching the webcam the other night. You and they, they told you. So, um, gosh, there's so many kitties here. It's like, oh, I got so much, so much on my mind. Um, <laughs> so Peggy comes up to me this afternoon and she says, well, who do you want me to take home today? And it's like, oh, my gosh. So I think, <laughs> oh, how is Dee? She is good. Hey, I actually ran into her the other day, Dark Cat. And she looks really good. Dee is, what is she, 80-something years old? She probably weighs 70 pounds. She's awesome. Um, she's very busy. She is involved in her condominium activities. And uh, she thinks of us often. She still wants to get out here. But uh, she's very busy in her condominium community. It's really, it's so sweet. Okay, so Peggy went today home with mosaic because that's the brown tiger and torty with the gold tip tail that's the one lisa found outside that was so wet and has a sore little paw um she took her because she's still pretty shy and then she also took uh, well of course she took lily rose that's the one with the eye yesterday i took the second cap off of the eye. Today it's still pretty soft and supple so uh, she's she's doing, boy that lady is awesome. She's giving her meds like I've asked her to and I asked her, I said you sure you don't mind putting that ointment on the eye and she said she could do it and she is. She's putting it on um, 
a special ointment on this on the bulgy eye and a different ointment in the other eye three times a day and she's doing awesome at it so she has mosaic and lily rose and she also took Sophie she also took Sophie Sophie's the brown tiger and white with that injured back leg and uh, I had sent home about a week or two ago some of that, um, the white ointment, uh, the Silvadine with the insulin in it. And she still has some of that. So she's going to put that on the toes of, of uh, Sophie. So those are the three that she took this time. They're, they're all doing really, they're doing really good. Healing is happening. Our little kitty, the brown kitty that we had the... Uh, smaller of the two uh, pure rebras. That thing is almost closed. I couldn't, I, I always flush and flush and flush those till they're closed all the way. Couldn't even get my syringe in there to flush it today. So it's quite amazing. I was on antibiotics, eating like a blooming little oinker pig, or I mean little oinker piggy. That's what it is. <laughs> and then the, there's two calicos, you know, too. The white calico and then the what I call more like a true calico. Um, they're 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 all three really doing well. They're very small. They're very very small. Tiny Tim is here. His name now is he's kind of got two names. Um, one name is Grizzle, and the other name is Grizzy. So when he's extra cute, I've been calling him Grizzy. Um, she come walking in. Uh, no lasting result or damage from the wormy. Nope. It's amazing. It's just like when those collars get embedded or these wormies, once you get that problem removed, they heal so fast usually. Just a little antibiotic and good skin, clean skin and a scrub really does a lot. So uh, the foster's mom is Brittany and her husband is Adam. And they walked in and she's holding them and oh my gosh, he's just a doll. He's just a doll. Um, let me see if I can remember everything that she said, and then I'll get, just real quick, Reels is awesome. He's up here, he plays with everybody, he's running around like a wild thing, he's awesome. Which one is that? Reels, he's got that extra, he's brown, tiger, white, but he's got that extra that. cute nose. No, nope. okay. that's Merritt, and Merritt's doing really, really okay. well. Um... I'm going to, before I go back to Grizzle, I want to tell you one thing that happened. This is why I hardly ever, 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 ever talk about any kitties without doing the leukemia test. That kitty had, had leukemia. And they were, they were already in a sick, sick mode. They were not the healthiest. So I'm sorry we, we did not get to keep them. Add, add, add to our hard week here. Wow. It's been, been tough. But anyhow, Grizzle or Grizzy. Um, so he was at this garage sale. She called him because he said, you better come and get him or it's going to be a dead cat. She called, said, I'm on my way. Picked it up. All she knew was the kitty is skinny, skinny, skinny and uh, full of fleas. So she's treated them for fleas. She did an excellent job. Fleas are all gone. And um, you can tell that Grizzle is already putting on weight because he's got a little bit of tummy. And um, his, I, I, one of the first things I asked was, well, the first thing I did was felt the head. And the left side, or, wait a minute. I think it's, yeah, the left side, just about right there. Whoops, you can't see her. On the on the left side of the top of the forehead is where the little hole is. So, um, and I asked her if, thank you, dark cat. I asked her if um, she thought that the frontal, frontal part of the head had grown in, and she said yes. And I said, we've got the medicine to start working already. So Kitty has already had the first dose of both of them, and I'm not. One of them is done once a day. One's done twice a day. Tomorrow, this she's he's had one dose of each. Tomorrow, he starts early in the morning, and we'll do 
two on the one and one on the other. So we'll hopefully we'll get this test or we'll get this under control um, real quick. And then Tuesday is when I take them up on um, to Dr. Darcy and she'll do an ultrasound on the head. The one with it on the neck is good. That one is our little brown tiger boy. So Grizzle's doing good. Do you want to bring him up? No, he's a gray tiger. On the floor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Big eyes. Okay. I think the reason that they have those big eyes is because, yeah, got him at a garage sale. Really nice, huh? I think the reason that these hydro kitties have big eyes, I know I remember the very first one I had seen, I had thought the same thing, is because the skin is kind of pulled up here to accommodate this larger frontal area, so it kind of makes the eyes look a little bit better. Um, one of the meds is an anti-inflammatory, and the other one works with the protein levels to try to reduce that pressure. And you know, I think I mentioned this to you, but what was really awesome is Dr. Darcy called a really well-known cat neurologist and uh, chit-chatted with, with him, or was that of her? Because she's worked a, a lot with hydro pets, but they're almost always small doggies. She said this is actually the first kitty hydro <laughs> you know what? I didn't even think about asking her if I owed her any money for that, for Grizzle. I will have to ask her that if there was an adoption fee. She didn't She didn't tell me that there was, and I was so excited about talking to him and everything I forgot to ask. Yeah, you could tell, couldn't you, Anita, as soon as you saw those eyes. Yeah, I sent a super good picture of him to Darcy today. Um... Let's see. Ah, well, you'll get to see him in real person, but can you see? Ah, you'll see him in person here in a minute. But it's uh, definitely, uh, you can tell, well, frontal or side view. There's, I put something on the blog, Pildy. But if you go in and research, like under Cornell University, um, that's where I go to a lot on hydro cats, hydrocephalus. Oh, there, there's Wavy's got it. Cool. Um, there's a lot in the website or on on the web about it. Very good information. You know, little bub. It's been so long since I've looked at something on Little Bob. I do not know. Exactly right, Lost Girl. Yeah, it's it's actually about the tip of like two pencil erasers big. Will FFRC really be able to raise his type of condition? You mean help him? Do you mean help him, Contessa? If you mean help him, yeah, we can help him. We've already started. Yep. Yeah, I've, I did read about Superhero. Oh, there's the new candle site. Thank you, Perp. Um, and, oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Grizzy or Grizzle. No, it doesn't get infected, Mish. Because it's covered with our wonderful skin layer. Our, the best protector of anything is our own skin. It's not an open to the outside. It's open from the scalp bone to the um, surrounding area. There he is. You can he's Oh. Yeah. He's he in the it. litter box. So We'll have to wash or um, brush that out. I think he got on his food. Oh, okay. Oops. There we go. Here's our. Oops. Here. Come on. Yep. Here's it's our good thing you said big eyes. That helped a lot. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you can tell. There's a little grizzly, grizzle. Yeah, you know, I've seen where kitties that need protection, uh, they take if they're small enough, they take a tennis ball, a skinned tennis ball, and 
the skin on that and put it on, cut it out. <laughs> but he doesn't need that. No, he doesn't need it. Oh, isn't he? He's just, and he's so sweet. It was so sweet. We put him on the floor, and uh, of course the other kitties come up, and he's kind of scooting back like, what is this? And then uh, Hoot, who is about a third of this size, puts his nose right on him, and and Grizzle um, hisses at him. And uh, Hoot backs up like it, it was scary then. They were so cute together. But I think who's going to be his, his really good friend is um, Gustav. I think that they're going to be really you good friends. Okay. <laughs> you can just set it down, honey, and I'll show mine. Thank you for that. Yeah, I think I think Gustav is going to be one of his soft or his uh, friends. Oops, right there it is where my finger is. I'm just barely touching it. Did you get it's the right water there. off them, Steve? Oh, well, you. we don't know, okay. Robot. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have to see what his future is, what what can be done, if he needs total care all the time, if he needs what he what his needs are. Yeah. Um, so he uses the litter box. Right now, we help him into it, but he does go into it. He can walk. He can run. He does have a, a tumble over effect sometimes. Um, what else? He likes to play. Was he, oh, you said he was in the litter box there? Mm -hmm. He's a little clumsy eating, but he's very, very movable. Very movable. You know, I, Casey Ann, that's a very good question. Um, I don't think it's like pain. Oh, here's a kiss from Dark Cat. But I wonder if that causes a headache. You know, they say in people, it, sometimes can cause a little pressure headache so I just wonder well we don't know yet silly we're gonna just see what happens no him's as smart as any other kitty but it can cause some of this clumsiness that he's doing so hopefully when he gets a little more under control because as uh, Brittany had said his head uh, forehead has definitely swollen there you can kind of see a side view definitely has swollen more since she had him just for 10 days. Yeah, <laughs> lost girl, oh my gosh, that is so cute, yeah. We don't even notice tumbling anymore. <laughs> Isn't that part of um, what happens here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, aw, she's just gonna get you something, yeah. Yes, yes, Elskates. Okay, want to go back with Auntie Mary? Mary, do you think you could grab a brush and just brush over okay. that? It's dry, so I think it's going to come right off. Okay. Well, I, I think it'll be reabsorbed stinky. The ones I know that we've done when I worked at the vet's office, they, were, they just kind of reabsorb. All this, we will know so much more on Tuesday. And uh, I promise I will keep everybody updated. Oh, look what Steve did. Got it all together. Here you go, Jack Cat. It's all together. Isn't that nice? Yeah, they, that's right. And um, shunts are something that, it, and each one of these, uh, many of these are treated differently, but a shunt is something that can happen too. If left untreated, depends on how severe he is, but yes, they can die from it just by the pressure buildup. Lifespan is normal if if he's treated appropriately. Uh, guess what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm not going to be here tomorrow night. I'm going to leave about 5 o'clock. I won't get back till late. And uh, Connie, Connie is going to come in 4 or 4.30 whenever she gets here. And she's going to do breakfast for me. I'll be back, but I'm going to get back really late. And I'm going to sleep in a little bit on Sunday morning. But my daughter, Dawn, and granddaughter, Ashlyn, and I, you know, we're the crazy horse people. 
and there's at uh, Toledo at the Huntington Center, there's a horse show called the, um, the Gala Dancing Horses, maybe? The, let, me, let me get it. Let me get the name of it. Yeah, it's called Gala of the Royal Horses. So it starts at 7.30. And no, uh, I won't be dancing. <laughs> and, um, but I'm very excited about it. I don't get to do stuff like this very often. I'm very, very excited about it. No, it's not the Lipizzan. I've seen the Lipizzan on once many years ago, and I saw the Clydesdale horses many, many years ago. And uh, uh, that would be sleeping in, Dark Cat. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's Gala of the Royal Horses. And if you if you Google that, go into the net, you will see it, and it's just beautiful. These horses are artistic, and I'm I'm excited about going. The horses will dance. I kind of hope they have popcorn too. That would be the perfect thing. I know some of the videos that I've seen of it have some of the white horses on it. Yep. Okay. I wanted to tell you that. Keegan, what the heck did you do, you silly doofus? Silly boy. You handled that really well. Um. I'm going to have a good time. It'll be nice. Yep, Pat's taking, taking Connie's place. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the queen will be on one of the horses. Thank you, Packer. Well, if they got any questions, uh, now's the time to ask. I don't have too much to clean up. Bella has been outside almost all day today. She just loves it out there. Hi, Zelda. Say hello. I will. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to leave about 5 and drive over to Dawn's. And I think she's going to drive her truck. And then uh, we'll go up. Oh, you know what? I, I am so pleased, Pilby. This is just incredible. We started kind of a calming medication for Vern, Hensley, and Seymour yesterday. And I have not seen one seat. Hey, 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 hey. I think Dorothy's finally telling those kids to get them in that hallway. <laughs> Um, since we started the meds, I have not seen one single, single little twitch of a irritation between those three kids. I'm amazed at it already. So we're going to carry on and continue because it has meant a lot. They were really getting very disruptive and very hard on each other and to some of the other kitties. And I am just thrilled. Oh, you know, Anthony, I'll have to tell him that. But he comes, and man, that guy, he works he works his hiney off. He's a very good worker. Um, how's Jimmy? Jimmy is off the crutches. You might know that. <laughs> he's off crutches, and he's walking with a little gimp. He goes back to the doctor next week, so we'll see what's going on. That Vernon, what are we going to do with him? Sea Turtle is awesome. She is just the sweetest thing with the most beautiful list eyes. Uh, she right now has absolutely zero intentions of coming up here. So uh, I can't convince her. So right now while there's still so many kitties back there and 
we have to have the back bumpers room open anyhow. It's it's okay. Yeah, I saw that. Fabio and Coralie. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, Anthony is but you know what I really like about Anthony is his his uh, joyfulness all the time. You can be going outside or walking somewhere and all of a sudden hear somebody singing in this big deep voice and that's Anthony. I think he sings to the chickens and the donkey and horses and everything else. But but I want to tell you if Anthony doesn't show up again, it's my fault. Why? Because Peggy said that she heard him sing and I told Anthony he better run because he you know she's looking for another husband. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so I think he got scared. He did leave kind of quick. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, he's funny. And his sister Angie is just. She's just amazing. She likes it clean. She comes and she has clean stuff outside everywhere that I didn't know shine so much. He, he is so respectful, isn't he? Dark cat. He's just he's just really nice. Um uh I need I got me a note on my desk, Contessa, that I need to get busy on that. I did pull the name of cat list out today but I got pulled away again so but we'll do that much longer Oops, let me move my box here much longer will we need a nurse oh gosh hopefully she'll be nursing a few weeks yet <laughs> Mel uh, Seymour also is doing wonderful he too is I haven't had one squabble between those three now. Yeah, no cops. No cops, please. All right, everybody. Uh, you all have a wonderful night. Mary's here. Yay, yay, yay. I'm already sad, though, because I hear next week she won't be here. And I think Barb will fill in for her. Barb's Barb and Hatter and Ellen are good filler inners. No, they haven't, but um, I will soon. Their their veins are still so small. Yes, Sounder. Yep. All right. I got to take care of the ticket so I don't lose them. I better take them in, though, so I don't forget them. And I will be right back and uh, reboot the reboot the router here. No, but we did it. It had been going down, but coming right back up. So last night I rebooted, and it didn't do that. Okay. Oh, you know, she's been headed three times now. She followed me all the way there, all the way back, and I sat down with her, and she just rolled on the sidewalk. She wants to be. She wants to be petted yeah. in the consciousness. She let um, Ashlyn pet her today, and I got the petter. And Barb said she 